All right, we are live now. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, webinar about Masters in Germany. It will be led by Mirdil Kamilov, who is Globe Study alum and currently studying at uh, University of Passau, uh, Master of Science in Computer Science. Mirdil will be sharing his experience today. Uh, he will be talking about applications to German universities, specifically focusing on grad schools. Uh, he will try to do step-by-step -step guide. So uh, if you have any questions about any part, feel free to leave them in the Q&A, in the questions, or uh, wait until the end where we will have, you know, uh, a Q&A session uh, in which you can just speak up by unmuting yourself, all right? Uh, yeah, thank you jo for joining. Uh, now I'd like to give the mic to Mirodil. Uh, you can, you know, introduce and then start your um, workshop already, okay? Yeah, okay, thanks, Jeff, uh, for right. your invitation. It's my pleasure to be here. Um, first of all, uh, hi, everyone, and I'm Radul Kamilov, currently studying the computer science at the University of Passau. Um, I really planned to prepare very well, but... <laughs> Uh, things happen and I have like uh, uh, I'm struggling a lot of with the time management so honestly like uh, before like five minutes ago I only finished the <laughs> the presentation but I'm really open to the questions if I miss or uh, like leave the most important stuff uh, so at the end we'll be have the we'll have the Q&A here is our agenda um so let me introduce myself i am uh, is very student thing i think so you, you're you should yeah <laughs> having like uh, uh get used to the new country new environment and the new <laughs> studies overall uh, it was, of course uh, yeah it is was hard uh -huh. um so i I have like bachelor's, bachelor's degree in computer science uh, at the in high university in Tashkent. Uh, I graduated uh, there 2022 and I had a gap year having the work experience uh, about uh, like uh, eight months. Uh, and while I was having my bachelor's degree, I also had uh, like around six months, I guess. Yeah, the work experience both related to my uh, current major of engineering. Uh, my GPA is uh, 3.63 out of 4.50. So it is. it would be, uh, in the percentage, it would be 80%. Um, I have the IELTS 7. Uh, and the, the interesting uh, fact here, down here, that uh, me and my friend together applied to overall 27 uh, programs in Germany. Uh, I applied to like 13, he applied uh, to 15 programs, but uh, we got admitted only uh, three programs each. Uh, so, so you may ask uh, how come like it was the uh, AT GPA, it was the IELTS or it was the have, having the one year work experience and even my friend has uh, uh, almost like 90 GPA. Uh, so how come we can only admit it to three uh, programs each? Uh, we will explore these uh, nuances, which you should keep in mind. Uh, but basically, it is not written in the uh, requirements section or anything else. It is just the, the out of experience. So uh, let's have a... Let's answer the two main questions. Why to pursue a master's degree overseas and why pursue a master's degree? Uh, I did a mistake there. Um, it, it should be... Uh, that should be Germany. Why, why in Germany? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I said, I did the presentation five minutes ago. <laughs> so, um, so having the master's degree overseas... Uh, comes with a lot of benefits, including the specialized programs. Uh, like you, like you, as you may, as many you know that uh, the programs, uh, master's programs, is uh, highly specialized, and uh, and uh, most of them are well advanced than the 
the courses that are usually taught in the bachelor's degree. Um, so you can specialize in uh, a very narrow uh, area. Uh, that's a great thing to do. And also uh, a lot of opportunities uh, uh, regarding the career advancement. So uh, like I said, if it is overseas, most probably uh, compared to our developing, as a, Uzbekistan is a developing country, compared to the developed countries like in the Europe or the US, so it would be the uh, the industry would be the much uh, developed, uh, which offers uh, many opportunities with lots of uh, scale than you find in Uzbekistan, for example. Uh, uh, the also the having the uh, having the uh, master's degree in overseas also allows you to work permit after you graduated because most of the uh, how you call the countries allow the students graduated students uh, work uh, afterwards like usually uh, one and a half or two years uh, so it is not a big deal um, personal growth I would say is also a great motivation to apply what, uh, to the master's degrees because uh it is uh, it is out of your comfort zone uh, you have to take care of everything by yourself because i used to be uh, like i used to grow in a family that my mother is always at home uh my i have also sister uh, i don't have to even cook the i uh, forget about the cooking <laughs> uh, i i didn't even uh clean a dish had had to do, do do the dishes at home so now I'm doing the everything uh, on my own uh, while I'm um, studying full time. Maybe later I will work as a part time student. So, so basically, you have to uh, take care of everything on your own, uh, despite the challenges you face. Uh, it may be the uh, culture shock, uh, language barriers. Uh, I don't know, name it, you, a lot of challenges so far I in just uh, two months ago. I have, I have been living here in Germany uh, two months, but I have seen many challenges, uh, many difficulties. Uh, so it, it has a positive impact to your boss, your personal, uh, like soft skills. And also, like I said, with your with the studies, uh, with your career possible career advancements, everything is, I guess, uh, comes with a great package in the having having the master's degree in overseas. And about the Germany, most people don't know that uh, Germany has a zero tuition fee, and I mean zero tuition fee is. Uh, uh, most in public in, uh, universities and you can find the universities uh, with the tuition fee but it is not uh, like the same as the, the uh, United States uh, it is not compared even to the uh, other countries like for example in the US you have the like the, I guess the minimum the tuition fee you have the 10,000 uh, euros uh, the, now the dollars is per per year yeah and but here is here is in the if it is like a, uh, the public university and then you don't have to pay the tuition fee except uh you have to have the little bit semester fee which is like around uh, on average 300 euros it is just for the semester it is uh, so it, basically it is free um and also there are a lot of uh, high quality education education in the germany it is, it is just for the comparison, uh, you can look up the the most uh, high ranking universities in Germany, and you will find the at least uh, like five uh, in the top hundred. So it is also the it can also compete with the uh, US, of course, not the on the level on the same level, but uh, you can find the very good quality education there as well, and also. 
like I said, uh, uh, strong industry, uh, especially with the engineering and technology, manufacturing and the insurance. So, uh, and also, and <laughs> I also love to compare with the US because I got admitted uh, in the past to the US, but uh, I had to turn down it because I had the neither uh, financial aid are uh, nor the uh, to afford the living expenses there uh, there because the living cost here is a uh, very uh, low than the I mean the the prices uh, is uh, much lower here um, so so if let, let's say that if you are got admitted to the uh, United States uh, some of the uh, university in the United States but it is a very big question whether you get the visa visa or not, yeah. Uh, but in the Germany case, it is uh, uh, you don't have the, for example, you don't have the uh, interview with the German embassy people. So you you just apply with the documents. You have to have a block account, which I will get back really soon. So and that's it you know just uh, usually the you know one one once you get the visa and that's it um so and also uh you should also keep in mind that uh, i should i didn't include it uh which might be the uh barrier for some people so for to get the student visa uh, you you have to show that you have the uh, 12,000 euros, about 2,000 euros, uh, uh, sorry, 12,000 euros uh, for your, for a year. So uh, it, 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 it has uh, the block account, so uh, you cannot uh, do the trick with the US, for example, you showed you have the uh, certain amount of uh, money, in your bank account and once you get the visa you just uh uh like you transfer to other the person who owns the money so it doesn't work like this uh so uh you, the block account you can only uh get the money on your block account uh, uh per per months uh when you arrive to the germany so it is a little bit tricky yes uh, but this, it is the, for your own benefit, uh, I mean, uh, to cover your living expenses during your studies for one year. Uh, it is, it, the purpose is that the same with the, the German, uh, the USA and the same, but uh, the only difference, you, you cannot do the trick with, like you do in the other countries. That's it. But the 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 funding you have to show anyway is uh, more or less the same uh, to get the visa. So next is uh, defining a clear goal, and it is uh, I guess the most important slide uh, in in the whole the slides because uh, so far I uh, met many people. Uh, who either uh, regret uh, having the master's degree instead they uh, want uh, the the work experience here instead of uh, going the master's uh, abroad and spending uh, for them is only spending money uh, but uh, and also and I can only uh, see a lot of uh, people and only enjoying here, not studying, either on the verge of uh, deregistered from the university. So I have such a, uh, cases here I can see. Uh, so setting the clear goal is uh, very important. So um, to get this analogy, I can give the this two person example. Let's say the person A have the really strategic strategically choose the university and the program. He has the uh, the goal that uh, he wants to have a advanced uh, software engineering uh, degree uh, and also at the same time work uh, 
in the most prestigious uh, industry in the Germany. Uh, so he planned that. Let's see, uh, he uh, purposefully chose the university uh, based on the cities, based on the ranking, based on the program they, uh, they offer, the courses uh, they offer. So he he chose the purposefully uh, the the bigger cities so that he can uh, have a better chance to find a job to apply for the jobs, uh, and also he learned the job market before coming here. Even uh, he know that uh, for example he knows uh, he had to have a good level of German uh, for. It is, uh, he not said that it is a very good uh, point that having the German uh, level at least like a B1. So he uh, planned that so that uh, he wants to have the, uh, use the uh, university opportunity to uh, enroll to the free German courses, which is offered uh, by the university. He might, he potentially admitted. Uh, and also, uh, he studied all the study regulation, all the model handbook. He has the like uh, clear map uh, which courses he wants to take. Uh, basically, he had a he had his research, he had his homework, uh, and also he is making his uh, most making the most of his stay in Germany. Um, yeah, from the studies perspective, from the careers perspective as well. So, but on the other hand, uh, let's say the person B is the uh, the motivation only is a sruschkrek for, for like uh, the most common phrase I guess uh, among the youngsters. But I have a clear evidence that uh, uh, having this mindset, I have a clear example, trivial example uh, next to my. Uh, Roommate, uh, he has also the same uh, motivation before coming here. He did it. I mean, he had escaped very uh, well, but now what? He had a great question in mind that now what? Uh, why? Uh, why he escaped? By the way, <laughs> the you know uh, the there the, the his home country is also uh, is mandatory to uh, to go to the army uh, at least for three three years. So so, so he uh, escaped it, from it, the. Um, sorry, what? Which country is that? No, I don't want to <laughs> name okay. the country. Sorry. <laughs> so. It's, it's, okay. He did the uh, escape the from army, yeah, but uh, like now what? Uh, so he uh, he is now actually he uh, about to expel it from the university, not uh, because not uh, study the regulation before coming here because we have the uh, certain requirements to be completed uh, in the semester in the one semester high zone the one one year. So he didn't do that even. Uh, he most of the time wasting time enjoying so just uh, for the reason having not a clear goal uh, so next thing would be uh, so how to define a clear goal then uh, keep moving keep uh, keep moving forward keep exploring uh, i would say as you uh, to have the clear goal on your way you need you need information to get the information you have to keep moving uh, keep exploring um, and also having the network with the people uh, with uh, lots of people uh, that is a better better position than you so i had a screenshot uh, from my uh, linkedin profile and i asked the uh, marat khan kamil which is uh, who is uh, my uh, relative, uh, more not close one, but still he is working uh, on the Amazon AWS as a software engineer. And I asked, uh, "Hey, how are you doing?" And I want to have I'm I'm doubt uh, was it to 
uh, have the master's degree or not. Uh, as you can see, I asked this uh, three, no, uh, two years ago. So this is the basically the uh, when I having the question was it to have the master's degree or not in two years ago. So to get to, to this point, I had to uh, talk to many people. I had to have the uh, explore a lot uh, whether it would be uh, while I'm studying and enrolling to different courses like AI uh, was uh, to kind of uh, finding my potential program in master's pro master's degree. Uh, I, I attended to the AI uh, courses, but I found that it is uh, uh, more boring than the software engineering uh, in general. So that happens, but the key thing is that uh, I eliminated the one uh, potential program and I have the more narrower uh, programs that I can choose. Uh, so it takes time. It takes, uh, I guess, the sweet time. So you, should, you have to be patient. Uh, and uh, also the gaining the practical experience is a crucial uh because it gives you the the insight uh, uh about the industry and also refer re, refines your knowledge uh and also uh give you the clear guidance uh, uh where you want to go next because uh having the practical uh experience uh, after my graduation was uh, uh the, i guess the crucial uh point a crucial role had to play the crucial roles uh, to uh to define the my uh master's program uh degree uh, i mean the master's degree program and also the uh subsequent goals that my i want to uh, achieve uh, uh just for the example uh i didn't i not said that i didn't know i don't have any knowledge uh, in some particular field and uh, and I find it uh, a lot to explore and why not to have the uh, to do in masters at overseas uh, with the lots of opportunities uh, with the broader industry with the broader projects maybe uh, in a broader scale I mean in every everything so the and also the last uh, I guess the advice uh, uh, also go to the uh, writeiv.com and uh, download the master's SOP starter kit and it has uh, only like 20 pages do the read all of them and do the exercises uh, written in there it helps you to uh, define your goals uh, this was uh, I found it useful and also uh, and now the, let's have a look on the types of uh, higher education uh, institutes, in, institu institutions how, okay, uh, in uh, Germany. So there are three types, mainly universities, University of Applied Sciences, colleges, art and music, which we do not uh, discuss a lot. So the university uh, offers uh, more resources uh, and they are tend to be high ranking because of that. And they are focused uh, on the theoretical part. Uh, and also uh, they are very research focused. And however, uh, the I guess the opposite uh, of the university would be the University of Applied Sciences uh, that uh, focuses on the uh, application uh, uh, and also less emphasis on the research and uh, have the strong industry connection uh, and that's it uh, but the the main uh, I would say the difference is the the universities are theoretical uh, and they are more focused on the research and the, however the university is the only the university of applied science is only focus on the application and uh, more about uh, getting a job afterwards. Uh, that's it. And uh, having this in mind, uh, 
and uh, once you have the you got the, your maybe uh, goals your potential the programs you want to uh, do in your masters and you have to shortlist your universities and I guess this is the slide uh, I heavily inspired by uh, Jeff because uh, he did explain it, uh, the uh, how to shortlist uh, and uh, I guess this is the reason why I'm speaking right now because I, if I didn't uh, apply to like certain uh, you know certain programs and categorize it in three pro three uh, uh, groups, I would I guess I didn't uh, get admitted uh, like some of my friends. So the first thing you should do is uh, ZD database for international programs. You can scan uh, the QR code. We will do it uh, briefly. I want to go through the list, and we will do, go, uh, we will do it together. Uh, search for the programs. Uh, the here the tip is that use the keywords uh, like uh, computer science, maybe software engineering. I am so I have the examples only in my field. So feel free to use your own uh, keywords. So software engineering, software systems, maybe AI or cybersecurity, uh, maybe embedded systems. So try to. Uh, how to say, um, expand your search so so that you have the more chances to uh, uh, to have the programs uh, uh, not uh, so like in in just on in one just uh, major maybe because we will uh, talk a little bit why so list your desired programs uh, it would be just going uh, with the uh, requirements, uh, your description written in the DD, uh, just looking to the university name, rank, ranking, program name, deadline, tuition fee, and that's it. And if you uh, like it, just from the uh, DD website, uh, the description on the DD website, just list it down and use the notion uh, to organize your programs and uh, and then group the uh, group these programs into three categories, which is dream, average, safety, uh, and the tip here is uh, each category each each category should have at least five programs. Uh, then you will shortlist it. Uh, you carefully look each program, like so. It would be like fifteen programs. You will go through all of them. Uh, by now going to the program itself, to the university uh, website itself. So you will go through all of this and then you will decide whether you want to apply or not. Uh, let's go to the GED international programs. Okay, I have to, I guess, stop this share screen and now. Uh... I cannot stop the sharing. How come? Yeah, we can we can see the screen right now. But I want to stop it. Oops. Yeah, yeah, but we we cannot we don't see any screen. Uh, ah, yeah. okay, okay. You, you stop stop it. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Do Do you want to demonstrate like on on Chrome or something? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, not this one. Okay, here is it. Oh yeah, we can see the DAD website. International yes. Programs yes. For twenty two. Ah, uh, twenty three, twenty four. Yes, this is the the exactly the what I was talking about. Uh -huh. uh, the course type, maybe the master's degree, yes. And the course language, English only. Let's see. The field of study is not necessary. And the, I don't know. Let's see the computer science. Computer science, yeah. Search it. Nine, about a thousand problems. And then here, okay. 
then here you can select the even tuition fee and the semester. Currently, summer semester is going, I mean, the application for the summer semester is going. Uh, so you can click on this and here is the all the uh, computer science uh, related uh, programs, masters in English. Uh, you can go through, let's see the, oh, the first one is University of Boston, let's see. So let's see you are interested in that. Uh, you will go through the, this uh, English, so all modules is English. Let's see the uh, tuition fee is zero. Okay, nice. Um, you will, okay, you will probably read the description for details also. Uh, the one thing, the great thing is that GAD offers uh, everything in one place. I mean, you can find the requirements, deadline, uh, it would be a great tool to use for your shortlisting the universities. You just uh, uh, quickly scan it and that's it. Uh, post, post and found requirements. Yeah, here are the requirements. Submit application, please visit the link. Uh, so, the deadline is a separate page, but let's see that you. Uh, like at this university and the, um, how to say, the program, and you go to your uh, Notion page and, oops. I have too much programs running right at the same time. <laughs> oh, did it like freeze or something? Yeah, yeah. no. Okay. No. <laughs> Um, uh, let's see the University of Passau in my average average uh, because it has the like uh, the ranking is uh, about uh, 500 so I would say uh, I would put in my average list and I will put the deadline the, uh, the program and the, the tuition fee which is zero but this, you have to pay the semester fee which is about 100 euros uh, mm. that's it you will only list all of this uh, not uh, paying attention to details uh, like what to apply uh, how to apply that's uh, that's another topic let's see uh, you so you did this search list now grouping okay grouping is a it can be a little bit tricky uh, the easy one is, I guess, uh, the maybe the safest uh, based on the rankings. That's it. You just go with the ranking. Uh, mine was up to like uh, 400 is dream, uh, up to like 80, 100 average. And safety is uh, like even there is no ranking available. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, the, that's about the grouping. Uh, and shortlisting would be another topic. Uh, like you see, uh, even though I have uh, the three more uh, programs listed and I uh, changed the status to not willing to apply because I find that there, uh, which I do not uh, qualify the program. Uh, so that's why I said it should be like a minimum of five per category. So you will have the options to, you have to eliminate some of them uh, based on the requirements uh, after you carefully look through the program website. So that's it. Um, can you see the, the slides now? Uh, right now, no, maybe it takes some oh, okay. time. Uh, let's okay, let's. Okay. Now, yeah. Yes, we can sit now. Yeah. Uh huh. So next thing, it is the screenshot of the my Notion page, but you can see the you can visit the uh, by QR code and you can see the whole picture. Uh, now, 
the process of applying the universities. The like I said, uh, the summer semester is uh, the application for the summer semester is going. Uh, the application deadline is uh, as I researched it uh, that it is uh, uh, varies uh, from the uh, from even the first of October till the January fifteenth. Uh, I I saw that some of them have even December. So uh, you have to have a look. Uh, this is like a broad one, uh, but the semester duration would be from April to September. Um, and also for the winter, as you can see that uh, you have to, uh, you can apply uh, in, uh, in the same year that you want to study. Un uh, unlike the un uh, United States, for example, you have to apply it in November to get admitted, to get to start stu uh, study your studies. Next year, the uh, some uh, winter, uh, how do you call the fall semester, yeah? Uh, but you have to, you can apply the, for example, in May, from May to July 15th, uh, and start your studies uh, October to March, which I am doing now. Uh, so the common requirements would be the uh, IELTS uh, 7, I would say, and you can find the 6.5 as well, but I highly recommend having the 7 um, because basically this is uh, having the, uh, the English skills would be your primary tool that you would be using uh, while you are studying and after you're studying. Uh, I, I would prefer to sharpen it before using this tool because every day you will have to use this tool. And if it is like sharp enough, like seven, uh, you, you have the much more opportunities. You have the, you don't, you have the, you can feel the, uh, you you can uh, feel free to contact any professor. You don't you don't have to be shy. Was I can explain this? Uh, uh, was I can uh, explain my question or uh, anything else? It's just the I guess the seven is the uh, the most recommended. Uh, even though you have the uh, requirements is uh, six point five, I even uh, encourage you to have the seven even the requirements is 6.5. So uh, GPA is the, uh, like the general one is a 70 plus, but you can find the, uh, the program is, which is less than that, uh, especially with the uh, applied university, uh, University of Applied Sciences, they are tend to be, uh, except more people, with the less GPA even, even more or less uh, the IELTS, that's a common thing they they to do they do, and also deadlines also like more later, you can take advantage of that. Uh, um, so if your GPA is like uh, less than that, like about like sixty, I recommend you to apply to the University of Applied Sciences, uh, because okay, I will discuss it later. Uh, the transcript be uh, your diploma if av if available. Uh, if not, you can attach the. I will be getting this doc uh, the my diploma in certain time. Uh, this is this this is called I I, I guess primary primarily diploma something like this is this described in the most of the requirements and the CV motivation letter letter of recommendation and the most probably. Uh, two and all of uh, both of them is uh, from your professor or the the university staff, not the your like employee or project manager. That's the this is the like um, difference between the US, which I find it uh, and also certified copies and translation if you have to submit by post, which which can be the requirement. Uh, so I will explain the, what is the certified copies. Uh, basically, you cannot uh, send your diploma uh, to the university, yes, because it is your original and you, uh, you cannot get, it is not guaranteed that you can get this, your original diploma. So you have to have the copy of your diploma and get certified that uh, your diploma uh, is 
uh, exactly the same with your original one. Uh, this is called a certified copies. I did with my university. I went there. Uh, here's my original diploma. Here is the copy of it. Please confirm that uh, this uh, copy is uh, identical with the, the original one. And then said, okay, and with the stamp, with the signature, and it was enough for me. Uh, I heard that the university, uh, the embassy does the same job, but you know that the bureaucracy and all of this stuff, uh, you had better go with your university only. Uh, certified translation also. Certified translation is uh, with the, uh, how you call it, notary, yeah? Uh, this is the by, by the notary. This is easy. Um, now, the fun part. And let's see that we have the shortlist of all the universities. Now we want to get started applying to universities. Uh, here are the three basic type of uh, application processes. The one is the, the easy, the most easy one is the uh, online, uh, only to university, applying to only university, uh, which could be the uh, uh, the university portal or something else. Is, you just follow the instruction as I said, nothing hard there. And now uh, the another one is the only two universities, which is also comparatively easy. Uh, you upload your requirements, required documents to Uniasis document section before the deadline, and also send your application via Uniasis before the deadline. So we will uh, go through all of this, uh, and and the the final one is the uh, you both upload the, your documents, send your uh, application via Uniasis. And they uh, confirm with the VPD, and you get the VPD form, which is only the document, uh, one page document, uh, which converted your GPA uh, to the German uh, German grading system. That's it. What they did was only that, but it takes like they take like uh, about a month, but you have to submit this uh, VPD along with the other documents to the uh, university portal. So like this is the hard one. Uh, you have to be very careful, start these applications uh, as fast as possible, uh, as early as possible, um, because getting the VPD takes time. And with the VPD, you, you can apply to the university portal, uh, but Always keep in mind uh, that uh, there might be the requirement that you have to submit your documents also by post, uh, the hard copies. Like I said, the certified copies, certified translation of your bachelor or the transcript maybe. Uh, so, and also this, yeah, this also has to be arrived before the deadline. So the usually, in my case, I send it uh, two posts, uh, both from the uh, whose post, I guess, and not so uh, expensive, like about uh, 100,000 sums, uh, but uh, the, it took me on average 15, less than 15 uh, days. Um, so you should be very carefully reading the requirements was that it, uh, you have to submit, uh, also you have to send the documents by post. Uh, either it is only to university portal or the un uh, you have to only go to the uni assistance that's it, or the VPD plus the university portal and maybe the by post. Uh, so, so much thing to keep in mind. And please be careful. I had the cases that Later, I found that, that I have to submit the do uh, documents by post, and so that's why I may be rejected. So, please carefully read the uh, document uh, the requirements. Uh, here is the okay. I guess 
I guess I have to show you the uni assist. Ah, by the way, uh, sorry, I'm all over the place. So, uh, what is uni assist? By the way, <laughs> so uni assist is a like a the organization uh, that checks the require the university requirements, the program requirements, whether you are eligible or not, and they checked and they uh, transfer to the university. Uh, this is like a first screening by the uni assist. Uh, they convert your uh, GPA to the German university, German uh, grading system. Uh, they confirm that uh, you are like eligible to the basic requirements written in the uh, the the program, uh, and they uh, finally they send the, your documents, maybe uh, also the electronic uh, files documents uh to the university this is the the role of the uni assist i don't know why people why the university sometimes forces you to go with the uni assist i don't know <laughs> um now let's see okay the uni assist um I'm not sure which one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Assist. Oops. Let's see, I can log in. By the way, can you see the Uniasis page? Yeah, we can see the Uniasis page right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, I pre I'm pretty sure that. Uh, University of Passau, uh, the they accept only through uni assist. So let me search for that computer science. Uh, okay, some semester University of Passau. Passau. Uh, you go to the search one. Uh, type your program, some semester, semester, uh, university. Um, Bavarian masters and search for it. And based on the search, uh, we have the only one uh, program. And you clicked on the, you can see the details. Oh, it is in. Oh, okay. okay. Is most of them, most of these the details is out of date. So you have to follow the program's website. Uh, you have to select it. Uh, it's in the inbox now. Now, okay. Uh, this is the application I have to submit. This is the, just the basic questions. Uh, about my university GPA, maybe uh, um, complete uh, yeah, about the high school. Um, this is basic, but uh, the actual uh, documents it goes to. So you will submit this uh, as well, and you also go to the my applications documents. And here you can see that uh, I upload on, I already uploaded uh, the CV description of the university courses, which is basically I described all the courses with the, the syllabus, what was the thought, what was the content, what was the objective, everything. And the letter of recommendation is not uh, uh, like required, most of them, but uh, especially with the uni assist, but I uploaded. Uh, maybe they can check. 
uh, high school diploma. Mine was Lyceum. Uh, proof of work experience was basically required by one university, but not all of them required. Passport is mandatory IELTS, uh, bachelor's transcript, diploma, bachelor's. This is the uh, all the thing you have to submit. If they specify the other thing, you have to do it as well. But uh, mine for the like 13 programs, this was more than enough. And you may ask, uh, how about the motivation letter? You don't have to. You you shouldn't apply. Uh, you shouldn't upload uh, the motivation letter here because it is available to all the uh, programs you applied by the uni uh, through the uni assist. So uh, it is like illogical to up upload this motivation letter to one motivation letter to all of the programs you uh, applied. So usually, if they require the motivation letter, usually they. Uh, they have the one field, uh, one field in in the application itself. The documents is uh, available to everyone, uh, but the, the application is only available to the university only. So uh, here is the also the, oh yeah, here is the next step as well. Okay, they are asking me with, about the. Bachelor thesis or something similar. Or the no, they, they want you to upload some URL for that. Like yes, yes, yes. Upload it to Google Drive and then put it there. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see. So this is the application uh, that would be sent along with the document sections that you uploaded here. That's it. Uh, and once again, you have to be very careful about the uploaded date. If you want to delete it or re-upload it again, make sure it is before the deadline. Uh, and also, if you once you uh, uploaded all the documents uh, to the documents, it doesn't mean you done with the application. The actual the application is uh, once you go with this uh, uh, how do you call the the form and save and pay the uh, fee the for the first uh, fee. For the first application, it is for 35 euros, but uh, all the other is, I guess, it was 30 euros. Uh, yeah, it is much, but you have to be, that's why, be careful which one you want to um, apply. Mm, and for the University of Passau uh, specifically, uh, once you apply, the, uh, once you uh, upload it, uh, your documents uh, to the document section and applied the uh, uploaded your send your application through uh, the link, uh, and you have to submit the uh, you have to post you have to send the post uh, through the post the, all the documents you are required uh, before the deadline. So make sure read the doc uh, read the requirements carefully now. Um, this is the screenshot. Okay, now recommendation. Uh, good mindset is uh, key uh, because there might be the rejection, especially uh, while, uh, especially on the start because I had uh, four rejection letters uh, consecutively at the start. Uh, it happens, so you should be positive. And um, how is how you call? Uh, pray that uh, it would be the uh, versus the having the master's degree is uh, for your own benefit, because I can see the people uh, even they really want to have the being in the overseas, but. Uh, being the overs being on the on, in Germany maybe uh, and having the their master's degree here is uh, for their own uh, like for own, it is against their benefits so it might be the case so if you got the rejection and didn't do it uh, in this semester uh, they might be the um, you may think they got that. Uh, 
you might be it might be either for your own benefit so you don't know i can see the a lot of examples uh it went against them so start the process early as possible um well, that's <laughs> great uh it was because you don't know you, you there are a lot of uh tricky documents you have to deal with uh with the certified copies like i said with the the you have to send the posts uh before the deadline which usually takes 15 days uh you have to uh shortlist them which i don't know it takes a lot depending on the people maybe you don't have the ielts now um, taking the ielts also get, uh, requires uh, depending on the level three to four uh maybe even six uh, months so uh, for example, I did the full time applying the universities, uh, and it took me like three to uh, four months. Even though I have the all the uh, the bachelor degree transcript, uh, everything the uh, the IELTS, everything was ready, um, and the C, uh, the the work experience, everything was ready. I saw, it. but the process takes too much time. Uh, it, the the requirements keep changing, so uh you you get the new requirements and you have to adapt for example just for the example i like you like you said that you have to upload the thesis or final year project uh, the report yeah um, i did the final year project but we don't have the thesis so i have to uh like change my like uh final year report uh to kind of cv uh, the thesis which was the uh, Previously was uh, like uh, less than 10, uh, 10 pages. And I have to convert it to the 30 pages thesis style uh, uh, document. Yeah. I had to go through the, the the formalities of the thesis, what are the styles, what are the recommendations. I have to go through all of this, yet let alone that I, I feel the content of the 30 pages. Uh, so just the the this is the like uh, uh un unexpected things can happen every time so be prepared uh, you have to start early so even uh, also apply early as possible because as uh, sometimes uh, uh the how you call the they may check the on your on the incoming basis so they might some some universities uh try to collect the all and check it as a book uh once they get the, after the deadline but sometimes the universities uh, check on a rolling base so you might get the acceptance letter or the rejection so you will act accordingly so uh this is the, another great advice find the one partner um uh, I was super lucky to have the Abdulaziz uh, with my friend to apply the university from the beginning to preparing from the uh, preparing the aisles to the till the now we are only always uh, helping each other because he also admitted to the you know, uh, German university so um this is the because there was in the whole process it takes too much I said so the whole process has uh, ups and downs uh, happy parts sad parts so you should have a, a one partner along the way uh, also reaching out to current students alumni this is a great uh, way to get insight about the university which you cannot find on the on your website or anything else uh the current up-to-date information is uh, always with the students currently student uh students or alumni uh based, also this is uh, like easy to access i mean you can connect them uh, through linkedin i would recommend and most of them are very open to new connection and willing to help um you can get a lot of information from them uh motivation uh now uh, like I said, it changed me a lot, even though I uh, stayed here only two months, but uh, it teach me a lot of things. It was a life-changing experience. Uh, and also the opportunities are all over the place. Just uh, for give you the 
uh, what I mean, uh, just for the example from my university, I have like, uh, uh, how we call each faculty, like we have like, I guess, I don't know, more than five faculties and each faculty has its own uh, library. And one library is uh, like very huge. Each library is really huge, it's full of uh, uh, books. If you cannot find the books, you can order it for free. Uh, the only thing is required from you is just study. Um, the professors are willing to help. They are doing the uh, very state-of-the-art research, which is really inspiring. Uh, and you get the most up-to-date information about the current research topics or the industry, everything else. And if you want to, okay, you don't have to, uh, I mean, you, if you want, if you don't want to get too specific to the uh, professorship and research thing, uh, okay, go, go, go um, to, I, I don't know, to industry and have the uh, job there. Even the university uh, prepares you for that. We have like uh, currently ongoing a series of workshops to prepare for the uh, job market in Germany. Um, like preparing from the preparing from the CV to cover letter, uh, preparing for the interview, everything. Job fair is coming uh, like in the next week. So basically, the opportunities are all over the place. You have to be wise enough to use all of them uh, efficiently. And yes, you have to have the enjoyment as well, but uh, keep the balance. But you have the and. Uh, have the time to enjoy as well here for the great nature here i don't know okay that's uh you have to you have to get in touch with the uh students that are currently work uh, currently studying uh, to get more insights then the students around me also the like normal human being <laughs> so people tend to ask me like uh I don't know. Are the guys all over the place like uh, with the ninety GPA, ninety percent GPA? Yeah, no. Uh, some people I heard that uh, they don't know uh, the programming itself, even though the, it is the master's degree in computer science. It happens, and I mean you can be the another person uh, instead of that person. Yeah, and so just apply and uh, see what would happen. And uh, finally, oof, the Q&A. Um, um, by the way, if you are very uh, interested in my, like uh, how to say the more personal or the more the university study life, uh, go and check my uh, the Instagram. Or if you have the question, please go to the my LinkedIn page. Uh, me and all David Kamilov. Uh, I'm open to questions. Uh, yeah, that's it. And also, don't forget about the Globe Study because they are uh, recording this uh, webinar and they want to upload it to the YouTube, and you don't miss that. Yeah. And I'm open to questions. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Mirandel. I, yeah. I see some things uh, in the chat. I think uh, one particular question is about a uh, blocked bank account. Uh, so yeah, it, it's raised by one participant. Could you please uh, address that question first and then we could go to some other discussions. Okay, uh, for like I said, for the getting the uh, student visa, you have to show that you are financially uh, if, like we call eligible uh, to study in the Germany for one year. So it, can, it could be the block account, it could be the sponsorship uh, um, and some other uh, like one point as well. Please check the embassy website, uh, but the main, uh, the most common uh, way to prove that is the through the block account so the block account uh you have to have the 
about 12,000 euros for one year. Uh, this is uh, required by the US Embassy. I don't know, uh, but uh, as a, you know, as a, uh, uh, well, <laughs> the German Embassy, the, but the other uh, German Embassy in other countries require a little bit less, but I don't know why that uh, in Uzbekistan it is like 12,000 euros. Uh, so the blog account works, uh, can be activated only uh, when you came uh, to the Germany. But if you reject it somehow, which is unrare about from the visa, uh, you will you will you will get the block account your money back. It is not a problem. But you got admitted and you went uh, to the Germany, uh, and you can get uh, once you activate the block account, you can get uh, money uh, by per month. So it would be like about. Oh, no, about the thousand euros. Uh, so yeah, about thousand euros per month. You will be transferred to your uh, bank account here in Germany. Uh, yeah, that's it. There is no um, trick that you can play with the German embassy. I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah, twelve thousand is uh, the requirement. I'm studying the computer science. And is the chance of getting admission to the university of the union assist evaluated your documents? Yeah, great question. Um, union assist only does the like basic. Oh, yeah, thanks for reminding. Also, uh, union assist does the basic uh, requirements checking, uh, and most probably you will get it, you get from the union assist. Uh, if you do not uh, did a, some serious mistake, uh, but the after the university forward your uh, documents, the application to the university, the then the university board uh, decides uh, uh, everything else. The getting the like acceptance, uh, how we call the acceptance from the university doesn't mean anything. Uh, this is just uh, you got the tick, that's it. Uh, but if you cannot go through the uh, uni assist, you will get, get rejected automatically. Um, and once again, uh, I didn't, I forgot about the, how come we uh, couldn't uh, admit it to more, you know, more programs. How come it is like three programs only out of like 13, 15 uh, programs. The only pro uh, problem was uh, it is uh, the content of the bachelor's degree. Even though we are applying to the computer science software engineering programs, and we are in, in major in bachelor's degree, uh, but we didn't have uh, the thesis yet. We didn't have the, um, the automata theory class, some other uh, formal languages courses, which some universities do uh, require, and I would say most, uh, uh, require these uh, kind of uh, courses, and we didn't have this course. Uh, this was the main reason why we rejected. Uh, I actually planned to put the um, reason. I mean, we prepared uh, all the uh, re rejection letters and the reason why we got rejected and with the uh, requirements that is written uh, on the program, I guess. Uh, I guess I will ask the Jeff to uh, send it through the Telegram, okay? Or I will uh, upload it the presentation, the, the link on the presentation, and the presentation link is would be the the final page. Thank you, page. Um, this is, yeah, the reason. So be careful. Uh, so the recommendation is here. Uh, first thing, you should be uh, more open to other programs. Uh, like if you are willing to, for example, uh, software engineering or computer science, please uh, uh, consider applying to the maybe 
uh, AI, maybe cybersecurity or embedded systems, because I had a case, uh, we got it, uh, uh, rejected from the free book, which is like uh, on the top 100 university. We, we both applied to the uh, computer science program, but the one uh, one of my friends uh, applied to the uh, the same uh, university, but the embedded systems program. Uh, he hadn't have uh, the, any problem, he got admitted. So please consider that, uh, especially if you didn't have the uh, like uh, automata theory or something else like says uh, which IoT does for uh, so yeah and also uh, maybe consider to increase your safety options um, yeah okay, okay great how how hard you, it is I have, I have how, a question. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, please. At first, you, you go we... ahead. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, so it's mostly about documentation part. Uh, I think some participants are interested. You mentioned that you applied to universities and sent some of the documents by post. Like, yeah. do all universities you apply to require, you no. know, the mailing method, or only is it some portion yeah. of university? Yeah, some some part, some portion. Uh, okay. some and most of them, I would say either accept the only the e-version either with the university portal or the uh, uni assist and this is enough for them but some universities i don't know uh they uh, require the hard copy as well with the certified copies with the certified translation everything else yeah this okay. is the germany bureaucracy <laughs> And also, uh, motivational letters is unlike the U U U.S. Yeah, plays the, I guess the most important role. Yeah, uh, but mm -hmm. here in Germany is uh, like uh, uh, something on the on the bottom. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the people apply many many people apply to the uh, German programs. Yeah, master's programs because it is English because it is free. Uh, and the, most of the time, the program is uh, very limited, like 30 seats or available, that's it, yeah. And they do what? Uh, it's my observation, it's not a fact, it's, it's my just observation, that they will do maybe cut off from the GPA. And they mm -hmm. can do the uh, cut off uh, like, we, like we did with the bachelor's content. They look for the keywords, like for example, automated theory, oh no, uh, rejected. Oh, automatically okay nice next round and then uh maybe you will be uh look through your cv and and then maybe maybe you will uh, read your uh, motivation letter yeah i guess the that of recommendation is, is the uh, doesn't uh, I, I mean even it's required but they don't read it i'm pretty sure um this is how it works how hard is it to study masters in germany and work as a subvention while studying yeah good question which i cannot answer <laughs> because i'm not uh uh i'm not uh working uh while i'm studying i'm planning to work from the next semester because this semester is a completely new environment uh completely new like everything for me so i had to like adjust uh and plan ahead uh after maybe some semester yeah it is manageable and and one thing that uh, reminded me uh germany is very awesome that uh most uh master's programs is like usually expected to be finished in two semesters uh, i mean two years which is four semesters yeah but uh the, you can have the option to extend it to five or six semesters and i'm planning to do the same i am planning to do uh, in five semesters finish the, my master's degree in five semesters so i can uh, plan uh, my courses so that I can distribute it more freely so that I can work uh, while I'm studying. Uh, this is possible and this is common. Uh, 
and I like it. Yeah, that's I can see that some people are doing like uh, in the seventh semester, their their thesis. This is possible. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, finding a job uh, is, I don't know, I didn't uh, research it, but I mostly find the point that states good to have the German. So be careful about that and maybe prepare for that. Uh, but I mean, it is not required. You can Find the, I am pretty sure that you can find the uh, jobs without uh, German. Uh, but come back with to me like in four months, I will tell you the exact the, the statistics, even the exact details. What documents are needed for getting German students after? Uh, please check the uh, embassy website. Uh, but the, the most common one is uh the acceptance letter from uh, uh the university even you can apply uh without that you have to uh, show your that you are uh, at least applied for them uh, oh really this is the, yeah yeah and this is the uh, one document uh the the block of the account confirmation of your block of the account uh, travel hash, travel health insurance. This is too is a, uh, not a big deal in the term of uh, in term of how people accept the financial having the financial uh, aid, but uh, the having the document itself is not a big deal. Uh, and your transcript, your CV, uh, motivation letter. Uh, uh, other trivial things, but not uh, like uh, super dupy new things, except the travel insurance and the public health. Uh, travel insurance, yeah, and public having the primarily public insurance uh, and block account. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What uh, you talk with you should be. Uh, mm, for the embassy, it doesn't matter. Yeah, for the boss in the university application process or the embassy, it doesn't matter. English or German, both fine. This is short Asayev. Thanks for great questions. Uh, you can contact me through the LinkedIn. I can happy to help you more. Um, I think I don't have any question yet, or I cannot see the, um, the maybe hands up something. I don't know yet. Okay. And by the way, it is the thank you page. You can scan the QR code for the presentation. Okay. All right. I think, uh, yeah, it was very uh, thorough, detailed session that can help it many people. not so organized. <laughs> I mean, no, generally. Sorry, Sorry guys. I, think, I would say the only thing uh, that we, we should improve is like we should divide this information maybe in you know like two or three sessions. Small I mean, you, chapters, yeah. you gave great uh deal of information and the information is you know very accurate, and it basically uh, sets the person with you know everything that he needs to apply to German universities. Um, uh, and it's really amazing that you started this initiative. And I mean, you know, you're passing basically the information from one generation to another, just you know helping. Uh, people to get started on their journey and stuff. Uh, I'm really glad to see this. Uh, you know, as as alum of uh Globe Study, you are yeah. doing this. And I'm really happy to see this. Yeah. So first of all, I'd like to thank you for your time, uh, Minodel, for uh starting this. Uh, you know, helping people spreading information 
Uh, I personally think Germany is a great place to study, especially for masters. You know, important points you mentioned in the beginning of uh, the workshop, like thinking strategically and choosing, you know, study destination, not just because of the university, but also considering the career choices, right? That is, uh, I think, one of the most important points that you brought uh, for people who, who might be watching us right now or who might be watching us in the future. Uh, they should really start thinking about not just, you know, going to abroad, uh, some foreign university, studying there and getting a degree, but yeah, also yeah, sure, sure. what they will be doing with that degree, like in a foreign country. For example, in the United States, yes, uh, you know, going there to study could be very cool because many universities are prestigious. Plus, uh, let's say most of them offer very nice career support. However, yeah. it's very hard to get scholarship, uh, especially for masters in the United States, right? So you end up maybe paying a very high amount of tuition fees. Probably that could and be... the living cost is much higher. Yeah, yeah. Living costs are also very high. So, you know, strate strategically thinking, if you do that and end up, let's say, not getting a good job after graduation or you have some visa problems, I mean, it's all going probably... Uh, going to be vain right so yeah. yeah that is very important point uh i'm glad that you mentioned uh and yeah generally the whole application process i, I also learned some of the stuff that i didn't know previously that you uh mentioned so thank you for that so yeah um thank you for this great session Miradil. i i hope we will be you know uh, continuing our initiative to spread more information about uh, studies abroad uh, in, in Germany and not only, right? Um, yeah. uh, it, it was a great pleasure to meet you again, uh, this time online, right? Last time we met was, I think, in Tashkent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Long <And> time maybe, ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe sometime in the future we'll meet in, in Europe or in, in Germany, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Come Germany. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks everyone for paying attention, even though I didn't organize it very well. I'm very, I'm oh, it, it was very sorry for that. Um, yeah. And I I just want to have the uh, I want to share a joke with my friend who is also studying in Germany. He <laughs> I I said him that uh, once I uh, went to the Okay, one size uh, went to the toilet and everything was clean in the university. I mean, everything is clean and everything is uh, settled there. Yeah. And I said, uh, after coming to home, and, man, uh, I am not paying to anything, anything to the university. And I feel like guilty for that. And I'm like, uh, okay, everything is settled for me, but I'm not paying anything. Even uh, my public transportation is free. Uh, like yeah <laughs> yeah having being a student in germany is like amazing uh so that's crazy this was the joke with the, uh, having with my friends <laughs> but it, it comes with the uh higher tax rates later if you go for a full-time job so but uh -huh. But being a student you'll, is like you'll, amazing here. you'll pay off for, for, for the guilt right yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay thanks thanks for organizing it of course yeah thank, thank you too me. time for you know putting this effort uh into this uh, presentation the workshop yeah all right thank you so much participants as well for uh staying uh and watching the, the whole session and asking very wonderful questions yeah thanks everybody and we hope to see you in globe studies future events bye bye Bye.